hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be making vegan pasta i have my water boiling for my fettuccine noodles putting a little black seed oil in my pan and i have my heat on medium next i have my garden chicken strips this was the teriyaki one so i just threw the teriyaki to the side and just put the chicken strips letting them fry up putting black pepper all over Cayenne pepper as well, gonna place that all over. Garlic powder. Montreal chicken flavor. Just wanna give it that chicken seasoning flavor. Next, I'm gonna cut my chicken strips into little pieces. And then I am going to add in my garlic, onion, black pepper, and sea salt seasoning. Don't judge me, guys. We love seasoning. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of grapeseed oil and my mushrooms. So mushrooms do have the texture of meat. So it's a really good meat substitute. So here I'm just gonna pretty much season the mushrooms just like I did the garden chicken strips. And I'm gonna cut them up in small pieces. I'm going to place them in a pan and put them in the oven on low so they can keep going. Put the grapeseed oil in the pan again. I have red onions, green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, a lot of peppers in there guys, a lot of good flavoring. Then some fresh cut garlic, I'm gonna place that in the pot and I'm just gonna stir everything together, let it get cooked down. And the only season that I put in was black pepper. I'm gonna set my veggies off to the side. So for the pasta sauce, I'm gonna take my vegan butter by Earth Balance, put that in my pan. Some more of that fresh cut garlic. Then I'm gonna put a spoon of the Kite Hill plant-based almond yogurt in there. So I'm gonna be using this as my thickener. A little garlic powder for seasoning. And I'm also gonna put better than bouillon vegetable base. Almond and cashew milk. I'm just gonna put just a little bit in there to start with and stir everything together. So whenever I add the almond yogurt, I'm going to add the almond and cashew milk, alternating them back and forth little by little. If you put it all in there at once, all of your yogurt and all of your milk, it's going to be very, very watery. So making it to a paste first and then working your way because the yogurt is your thickener. And of course, I'm adding in some more spice, some more seasoning. We like our food a little spicy and with flavor, so I would just suggest you doing it to your taste. We're just gonna keep stirring. We don't want it to stick to the pan. Again, alternating the yogurt and the almond and cashew milk. So it looks like my texture is coming like I want it. So I'm gonna take my Daya mozzarella shreds. They are dairy free and vegan friendly. I'm gonna place just a little bit in my pot, literally just a little bit, um, because everything else does have like that cheesy taste. So you only need a little bit. If you like cheese, go ahead and add you a little bit more. I did want my sauce a little bit more thicker, so I added a little bit more of the almond yogurt and the almond and cashew milk. Next is the garlic bread. We got some Hawaiian bread. Gonna take some of that vegan butter and spread it all over. Take that garlic powder, spread it on there, and that Daya mozzarella cheese, sprinkle, sprinkle, and then we have, boom, 